inspiration for this garden would be something to give back, something that would be rooted um, both within the community and within the ground. Um, two pieces that are very important to make a better world. There's a couple things that are unique about this project. The first one I would say is the mural on the exterior of the shed. The other thing that's unique about this project is it's fully ADA compliant. So the mobility piece of having this shed and having it be geared towards all mobility types is very inclusive. We had an opportunity here at Medley Park in Golden Valley where we had an amenity that needed to be changed up. Um, this happened to be an old tennis court, three tennis courts, and ultimately we came to this idea, what a great spot. We can keep the fence to keep deer out so they're not munching in the gardens. This surface allows us to be ADA appropriate. We can raise the raised garden bed so they're appropriate heights. And then we had this idea that we could have a share shed. So folks don't need to bring tools every day when they come to take care of the gardens, that these tools are here on site for everybody to use. The grants that I received from H&R Block and Nextdoor is what made this project possible. It allowed us to go above and beyond expectations. To be able to have the opportunity to come in and help out financially to help support the project, but also be here to, to do some of the work. It's very rewarding and it's important for us to be a part of that. You know, bring people together to do something for a common good. I hope to see that this brings people together, not only to garden, but to communicate, to keep active mentally and physically, interact with each other, and just enjoy nature too. A thriving community is a community that works together in tandem as one, and certainly a community garden. That's the earth working together, the people working together to make us thrive.